Hello, welcome to day four of our Colby um, Brawlet from Petite Citrine Co. So along. Uh, today's going to be a fun day. <laughs> we are going to, we're just going to attach our lining to our main bra and then add our band. Um, we're going to be doing that through the burrito roll method. So I wanted to make sure it had its own day and its own time because that can get kind of confusing. Um, especially if you've got a lot going on. So I wanted to just do it on its own so it's not too overwhelming. But um, so I am, let's just get right into it because I don't have much else to say today or I don't, right now I don't think. So we um, are going to start by laying our main fabric right sides up. Um, if you're looking at this wondering why I've got two fabrics on my main fabric, it's because um, I'm not doing a gallon lace, I'm doing just a stretch lace and I wanted it lined so I actually have a um, Lux double brush poly lining. So I'm treating it as one fabric but I'm doing two and then I have a, a lining fabric as well. That way the seams wouldn't um, still show because I was like okay if I do this lace and then have the double brush poly um, as the lining you're going to see the um, the seams and stuff still because the lace isn't very, it's pretty open. And then I was like, and then that's not very much coverage. So um, so I decided to change things up just a bit, um, but it's still the same ways. I just don't want you to get confused if you are also doing, um, if you're doing like the gallon lace version, I don't want you to be like, hang on, is my lining supposed to be on there? This is, I'm just doing something a little bit different. Um, okay. So now that we've got our main fabric right side up, we are going to lay our lining fabric right sides together. So the wrong side of our lining fabric should be showing. And we're going to just make sure our shoulder seams are lined up and make sure that the V's at the bottom and the front and the back are also lined up. All right, so now that we've got that lined up, the neck band, what we're going to do is we're gonna go through and we're gonna sew um, around the neckline using a three inch seam allowance. Now you can um, do this on a sewing machine and then when you get to the Vs, it'll be a lot easier but I'm gonna show you how to do it on a serger in case you were wanting to do a serge, um, use your serger. I like to not switch back and forth between machines too much. Um, so what I'm going to do with my serger is I'm going to start at one V and I'm gonna go sew down and around to the other V. And then I'm going to actually serge off and cut, cut my tail. And then I'm gonna start at the other V and sew down and around to the other V. That way I can make sure to get right into the corners of the V and I don't end up rounding it when I turn it. Um, so I'll show you here what I mean. So, hopefully you can see that pretty well. So I'm gonna start right in the corner of that V. And I'm going to use three eight inch seam allowance. Just sew all the way around to the other V. Making sure my raw edges are all lined up. I just passed the shoulder seam. Now here I'm coming to my other V. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew right up close to it and then kind of push this fabric out of the way. And sew off. Now what we're going to do 
is come to the view that we ended at and get right in to the corner of it into the middle and three eight inch seam allowance just going right there. Oops, I don't want to throw those away. To where the other V is, so I'm gonna finish off there. So oh, I should have a turn these right side out. And you'll see there's a nice V there instead of it being rounded. So if I had just turned my fabric, this would be more scooped than V'd. And it's still a little rounded. It's going to be with a serger because you can't get those tight, tight corners like you can with a sewing machine. And here you can see this one again too. Um, but... If you're not wanting to do the sewing machine, you can do it on the serger. I just really recommend to get a crisper V to um, do it one side and then the other instead of trying to turn it. Okay, so now we've got our fabric, our bra. It's connected here at the lining. If you want, you can open up your fabric, which I think I'm going to do because I don't want my lining peeking through. So we're going to just understitch the lining. So we're going to understitch the seam to the lining. Um, and I'm going to do it just because my fabric, my lining fabric is quite a bit different than my outer fabric. So you're just going to fold the seam allowance over so that it's on your um, lining fabric, but well, it's facing, it's towards your lining, and you're just gonna sew right along that seam, about an eight inch, an eighth of an inch away from the seam, uh, the seam stitch. Making sure nothing's tucked under. I'm just going to open that back up and make sure the seam is up towards the, the line. Stitching that. started at. Okay, right there. My threads aren't sticking out. Like, oh, <laughs> no, 
right. And they just ran over it um, about an inch or so, just so that those stitches were locked down. So now that seam is always going to want to flip towards the back instead of going towards the front. So it's nice and it helps hide that lining in case if, you know, your lining and your main fabric aren't the same and you don't want it peeking out at all. Um, and then by understitching it, you're also not having visible top stitching there. You can just top stitch it too if you want, if you don't mind the look of that. But, okay, so now that we've tops or understitched that, um, if you use your sewing machine, make sure that you, pardon me, clip a little snip up to your um, your stitches at the V's, just so that it gets that nice and crisp for you. Okay. This is the part that always drives me bonkers because things start getting twisted around and um, the first one I made, I did the lining and the main the same fabrics and I thought I was going to go crazy. <laughs> Trying to keep track of where everything is supposed to go. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to do the burrito roll. So we're going to open our bra. And this is the part that I need to... So, um, sorry, this is the part I always need to like walk through myself and I'm, I always overthink this. Okay. You need to open. main and the lining like this and then you need to tuck this side in like this and you attach these Okay. All right. Sorry. Now I can walk you through it. All right. So if you have your bra closed, you're going to lay it out and you're going to open up one sides, separate the main and the lining, just one side. And you are going to lay that so that right sides up. So here's your other side. The main and the lining of the other side is still together. And you are going to now kind of roll that up so that it's out of your way. And then you'll bring your lining over top of that roll and meet it up so that right sides are together with your main fabric. So now you've got the lining in your main fabric here. Um, we're not going to be sewing these sides seams. We're sewing the arm. I'm just going to attach the sides so that they don't flop around on me. So the parts that I'm clipping right now are not the parts that we're sewing. Those are the side seams. Right now we're trying to finish the um, arms. So we are actually going to be sewing this curve together here. So making sure, though, that we don't sew that um, other side into our, into our arm. 
So you want to make sure that that's nice and tucked in. Not going to make an appearance. So, so what we're going to do now, uh, here we go, is we're going to sew around this curve. Three inch seam allowance. Now we're getting to the part where it's pretty tight with the other um, with the other side of our bra. So we just want to make sure that that does not try and sneak in. So I like to tend to go a little bit slower on that part to make sure everything stays where it needs to. All right. So now we should have Right? Just kind of a big U. And what we're going to do is we are now going to pull um, the other fabric out. Being careful not to like pull, pull, but just kind of slide it out of our arm here. There we go. We can take these side clips out because we don't need them anymore on this side. So now we've got on one side, our neck is fully enclosed and our arm is fully enclosed. So there's no seams showing. Okay. So we just have to do the same thing now with the other side. So we're gonna open the main fabric, separate the main fabric from the lining, lay it out so right sides are together, or right sides are out, sorry, not together, so right sides are up, and we're just going to roll this other side in again so that it's out of the way as much as possible, and then we're going to just line up these corners. Here, and then I'm going to do the edge over here again. You don't have to. I'm just doing it because, like I said, I have that double fabric in the front, and I want to make sure that it doesn't try and slide around on me. Okay, making sure that this arm is all tucked in and I want to clip at this at the shoulder point because I want to make sure that those stay close. Okay, again, just like the other one, we're going to sew around the curve here. Three inch seam allowance. I'm getting to the strap, so I want to make sure that my other arm isn't trying to come hang out.
So now we're just gonna squeeze or pull the other side out. Right. And now we have our arms and our neck are the seams are fully enclosed and closed up. So I just want to make sure nothing's twisted. Okay. So our arms are done and our neck is done. And now because we've got the peekaboo, we do have to do it again, the burrito roll again with the peekaboo. So we're gonna open up the peekaboo piece and tuck this piece inside of it. Sorry, the, um, the back piece inside of our fronts. And we're just going to match up those corners. And then that center seam. And if you want to add elastic, you're gonna wanna put that in now too. So I'm just gonna do some little three eight inch elastic. Um, nothing too much, nothing too crazy. But hopefully give it a little bit of extra pull. Shoulder. Okay. So what I did is I just put my elastic in there. You can always baste it on ahead of time as well. Um, so you don't have to worry about it slipping or anything. But I um, I just use a little bit of 3 8 inch elastic. Nothing too much. Um, but just to help kind of hold me. Hopefully pull that back in. Um, if you're using... <clears throat> Elastic, you always want to kind of just make sure to give it a little stretch before you um, sew it into your garment just to stretch it out to make sure that you're getting um, the right length out of it. So, okay, we're just going to sew around that peekaboo curve, making sure not to get the back pieces in it. just gonna pull the back piece out through so now we've got so get it here we've got there we go so we've got our arm seams are fully enclosed our neck seams are fully enclosed and now our peekaboo is fully enclosed so now all that's left is to attach the side seams. So what we're going to do with this is I'm going to make sure I follow the instructions because last time I did not and I was, <laughs> had to rip it up. Okay. Okay, so we need to open the front bodice and match to the back bodice side seam. Open up the front bodice and match the back bodice side seams with right sides together. So, last time I don't know how I did it. Hopefully this one's right. Okay, so right sides together. We're gonna match our side seams. The front side seam with the back side seam. And the lining. So, in the same 
the other thing. We're going to open up seams for the separate the main and the lining. And put them right sides together. we should have now is your straps are up here, your main and your lining are attached here at the sides. Someone's at my house. <laughs> okay, and all we're going to do now is we're just going to sew along these side seams. using a three inch seam allowance. Okay, same thing over here. So now we have a fully lined bra, the peekaboo, and all that we have to do is add our um, band. Yay! Awesome. Okay. So for our band, we need to do is again I'm um, putting lace on it so if you are you don't necessarily have to have this extra fabric I'm just trying to make life difficult I guess so we need to match right sides together at the small ends. So we're going to match the corners. So like this, and then we're going to sew down this small end here. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to fold it in half um, lengthways so that you can see I've got my, I mean, it would only be four, but there's eight because there's the lace there as well. And then the two open ends here. What that's going to do is it's going to enclose, it's going to just give me a, a nice flat seam there. And then I don't have to worry about it um, shifting on me later. So now when I open this, it's already going to be folded in half for me. So I don't have to worry about trying to fold it in half again. All right. So now what we need to do is we need to get the quarter points of our band. So what I like to do is take the seam that I sewed. Sorry, I have I'm just going to make sure mine's all nicely with each other. All right. So I take the seam that I sewed to enclose the, to form the circle of the waistband, and I use that as my first quartering point. And it directly opposite that is my next quarter point. 
and then I match those two seams. So I match that seam with my other quarter point, and that will help me find the, so then the top part of that is my third quartering point, and then the bottom part will be my fourth quartering point. just like that. And now I want to quarter my waist, um, my bra, the bralette, but because I'm doing the peekaboo, I know that there's an extra little step I've got to do. Okay, mark three, four. Okay, first we gotta, we gotta quarter this, right? So quarter, quarter. So yeah, the seams, on this other quarter point, so that's super easy. I'm still gonna clip them because I've got that extra fabric. And I just wanna make sure everything is lined up when I go to sew. I don't want to miss anything. All right, and then here's my center point here. All right, so for the peekaboo. It says match the center front of the band to the center front of the bralette. Mark three-fourth inch inside of each edge of the peekaboo cutout. This is where you'll match the corners of each side of the peekaboo. Okay. Okay. I was like, how is that going to work? Because then we're going to have an opening, but we got to um, turn it under and then mark in place or, and then stitch it. So, okay. That makes sense then. All right. So I am going to use my seam. I'm going to put that on my side instead of at my back. So this is going to be my front seam and I just need to measure three fourth inches on either side of that. Cause that is going to be where the corner of my peak boot is going to go. So I've got three fourth inches here, and I've got three fourth inches here. Okay. So now we're going to attach it. So we're going to slip the folded end is going to go over top so that we've got the raw edges then of raw edges matching. Sorry, I had it backwards. My front that I had marked off was in my back. So we've got the raw edges are now lined up with the raw edges of your band. You're just going to match your quartering points all the way around. Oh, my machine is not going to be happy with me. This is thick. And now here we are at the peekaboo and at this three fourth inch is where the first corner of my first peekaboo cut out or the corner of my peekaboo is going to go. And here's going to be my other peekaboo. So. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to sew all the way around, but stretching evenly so in place. You can add elastic to this too if you want. Turn the bottom edge of the peekaboo under and stitch in place. Oh, okay. Okay, it's a little different than what I was thinking, but I think I got it. All right, so we're just going to sew all the way around, and then I'll show you how to finish that peekaboo. All right. Let's see how my machine likes this. There's like 20 layers of fabric here. No, it's not fighting. Yeah, 
the scenes are like. And this is three inch seam allowance as well. I don't know if I said that or not. Sorry, I'm kind of in my head about this. Kind of in my head about all this fabric. So far, it's actually going pretty good. So. With the band attached. And oh, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so if you look here at the peekaboo, you've got this. Um, mine actually is folding down quite nicely, but um, it'll probably try and stick up when I put it on. So all we're going to do is just fold that seam down and then just sew along it right there. Um, just using a straight, a regular stitch line. <coughs> Pardon me. And then we're all finished. Yay. <coughs> So I'm just going to sew it from the back. Oh, no, I'll sew it from the front. It's black and red, but it'll be okay. I'm just kind of pin, just right on the edge, making sure that that seam stays down. I'm going to reverse it a little bit. Starts. And there we have it. We have a fully lined Colby. Oh, I missed some of the lace here. I'll have to go back through there. But with a peekaboo cut out. How awesome is this? I'm just checking to see if any other lace got missed, but it looks like just that one little spot. <coughs> Pardon me. But there you have it. We got it all done. Yay. Um, thank you so much for joining me this week. Um, whether you did the Colby, just the Colby, or you did the Colby and the Tristan. Um, these are awesome sews, and I love this set together. I am really digging this lace with the um the heathered white behind it. It's uh I can't wait. It's gorgeous. This is beautiful. I love how this turned out so much. Um, <clears throat> yeah, but thank you so much. As you can see, this isn't such a crazy, so it's not super hard. It's not super crazy. I think the hardest part really is just wrapping your head around the burrito roll. Um, but for me, like once you do it, I'm such a visual person that I kind of have to practice it and then do it. <laughs> 
So hopefully seeing a video of it will help you as well. But yeah, this is great. I cannot wait to see your Colby's. If you sewed this up with me, please feel free to join our sew along group and share a picture of it because I would love to see your creation this week. And again, thank you so much. And I will see you next week when we sew up the Simple Life Isla dress. I'm really excited about that one. So I will see you then. Bye.